If you could go back and talk to you as a child, what would you say? Would you offer words of wisdom to comfort that child? Would you tell them how everything's going to be different? I mean, it's something to think about. Today's video is Whitney Houston, the greatest love of all. Now, it got me thinking about what I would say to me as a young child, because that's when I first started facing death. I was not even five when there was a car accident. I was five when I landed in the hospital after almost dying twice in one night. I was five when I ended up with shingles because my immune system got wrecked up. And my father turned into a violent alcoholic. Now, I would love to go back and talk to me at that age. And let me know that everything was going to be okay. But guess what? I already knew that. I knew that everything was going to be okay in some way or another. I believed. Now, as an adult... What I didn't know as a child is I'm the only one that decides who has power over my life. The power to hurt me, the power to just attack me. I'm the only one that has power over that because I'm the one that decides do I let them in my life and give them that power? How do I tell them where to go? Because in the end, they don't really matter in my life. And I'm not going to give them that place. Now that's something children need to know. But that's something even a lot of grown-ups need to know. Especially if you're dealing with PTSD. You're a survivor. You have so much power in your hands. And you don't even know it. Now, people are going to judge you. And they're going to mistreat you. And they're going to disrespect you. And they're going to walk away from you. But instead of trying to figure out why, why they decided to pick on you, why they decided to betray you, you need to decide how much power you're going to give those people. Because they don't deserve any of it. If they're standing by your side, they earned a place in your life. If they are encouraging you, if they are helping you, if they are trying to get you to where you need to be to heal, they earned that place. The ones who decided to be idiots, and you need to stop and think they are probably miserable people anyway. They want, just want to take everybody else down. So they target people to make them feel better about their miserable life. There's a big difference between them and the ones who use the power they have for good. So you decide what power you give away. And what power you keep. No matter what they take from me, they're not going to take my dignity. You learn, need to learn to love yourself. And once you learn how to love yourself, you're going to treat yourself better. You're going to treat others better. Because you can't give away love if you don't know what it is. So it has to start within you. So enjoy the video. There's a bonus one up too on this. And remember, it's your life. Get in and drive it. See you next time.